And you can see, it's very hard to see the infantry out here. Sure Through the BMP. There you go, ATGM. And the thing is, you're gonna have, yeah, it, infantry. If you wanna jump out and try to repair, you gotta make sure you don't fall off and drown. BMP in the worst position. Oh, there. <laughs> That's, you don't wanna do that. You don't wanna do that. Just stay calm, stay inside, wear your seatbelt. Hey guys, Moidog here, and today we've got another episode of Eye in the Sky where we take a look at a game of squad from the top down, and in this one, we have one of my all-time favorite layers, Goose Bay Ras V2, which has the possibility of having 12 tanks and IFVs on the field at the same time. With Russian BMPs and T-72s and American Bradleys and Abrams, Goose Bay can turn extremely chaotic. But what I absolutely loved about this round is that the vehicles weren't the only ones making plays. And we actually got some amazing infantry gameplay as well. Maps like these can sometimes put the infantry players out to dry, but man, did they show up to fight in this one. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and drop me a comment below with a map, game mode, or faction you'd like to see in the next one. And don't forget to check out the live streams over at twitch.tv slash moidog where I stream every weekday but that's it for me until next time peace all right I in the sky goose bay the U.S. against Russia and we are in RAS v2 this is one of the best RAS v2s out of all the RAS v2s because this RAS v2 has a lot of armor I love armor and this has for the U.S. we're on U.S. comps U.S. in blue uh, popping up from the, the northwest of the map all the way pushing towards the southeast of the map where Russia is. U.S. starting with a bunch of lodges, a transport in a couple minutes, two Matt Vs with the 50 cal, two Bradleys from the get-go, two Abrams from the get-go, and then two more Abrams and the helicopter popping up in just over 10 minutes. Up against Russia, who's going to be uh, rolling out with a couple of the Tigers as well as their transports and lodges. Two BMP-2s, as well as two T-72s from the get-go. And the uh, third and fourth T-72s deploying in 10 minutes. Same with their helicopter. Uh, up, starting at Train Yard, all the way down to Takut Co-op. Up to Weather Station, down to Five Wing, OP Heb, and Shipping Center. So we're on the, the whole west-southwest side of the map. The whole northeast is not being used uh, for this round. And I'm trying to see where our first engagement might be but goose bay um uh, honestly this is actually one of my more more favorite layouts for goose bay when you use the western side of the map i find the eastern uh kind of northeastern is is kind of overplayed uh the airfield which we'll see right here i, I like the airfield it's fun uh, it's, it's it gets you play this almost every time and so i actually really like Going over to the fishing village. I think this is a really fun, uh, fun POI. I, I love the hills. The force all around it is just, uh, I think, really, really dynamic compared to the open airstrip. So we will see uh, squad one and eight pushing over to OP Heb for Russia with shipping center. Uh, being capped halfway to cap as we have train yard. So U.S. is going to be a little ahead of the caps right now. And a couple of these squads will actually... Wow, this might be... Uh, this might actually kind of suck. So we have... <laughs> the American armor is all pushing out east. Not bad that they're all going together. I do like being able to wolf pack. You want to be together in case anything happens. But the... <laughs> They're not going to be anywhere close in Russian armor, as you can see. Oh, if we turn this up, so you might, I might see them. Well, they're 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 down there past the red. So Russian armor is actually in a much better position uh, at the moment. And when you see, yep, you see it here. So, uh, shipping center yeah, into OP head. See, someone knows their squad lanes. T-72 kicks off the road here. 
But yeah, so Western layer, uh, US, we're on US comms, so US, their first point is Train Yard. It can go anywhere on Train Yard, right? But their second point is Takut Co-op. The moment it goes Takut Co-op, you know, hey, guys, we're probably going to be out West. So uh, good call. Uh, that's why you want your early caps. And now the, the US armor, you can see they're all spread out North, and they're just going to be a little... Uh, we're going to basically be playing catch up as you have really sicko down below us here spawn t72 you have the matt v with the combat engineer duo here trying to get some mines down as t72 just chilling Trying to hold the angles. Three hundred and seventy tickets aside. No one's really done anything just yet. And I do think our first wow. Now this is a fob. Squad I don't know, four maybe set up a fob way out in military barracks. That is gonna be something that you're gonna to want to get out of dig down just remove this this is got not going to be in play at all and command wait commander commander is actually is this right hold on a second command squad no 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 so command squad is just infantry inside the bmp over here but we have The BMP actually pushing. Wait, no. Command does have. He's he's not in control himself, but Command's infantry squad does also have this BMP too. And they don't realize it yet, but the entire western side just full of American arm or American infantry. And they might have been able to see the very sus boat. Yep, BMP spotted. Copy. Floating in the water here. You can see it's very hard to see the infantry out here. Can we try to make sure we get the BMP. Stopped, like drilling or something. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, ATGM. Right. And the thing is, you're gonna have yeah, it, infantry. If you want to jump out and try to repair, you got to make sure you don't fall off and drown. B&P in the worst position. Oh! D d <laughs> That's, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Just stay calm. Stay inside. Wear your seatbelt. Just everything is... Everything is okay. It's all going to be okay. I mean, that was a fantastic ATGM. I'm Down guessing one of the Bradleys was able to spot him. The Bradleys, even though they did go way northeast, the advantage they have... Whoa, AT4 AT flies right by. Oh, there he is. Oh, BMP. Oh, my goodness. BMP might actually get the switcheroo here. I'd say, hey, stop moving. I got a shot. Bradley right on the left side. Oh, why are you doing it? He actually might have gotten the shot. Oh, he did. He actually hit the Bradley. <laughs> and gets blown into the air. And as he comes down, he lands not on the BMP, but into the water. Belly flops and he's going to be drowned in here a second. Incredible. Good effort from the BMP. But the moment you get you lose your engine out in the water, that's a GG. BMP goes down. And there you go. Bradley with the first good kill of the game. <laughs> um, oh, and hold on a second. There you go. BMP. 
got absolutely obliterated right. by two Abrams. BMP right. took the wrong turn. Uh, two more things are coming up in two minutes and 40 as well. And these Abrams. Yeah, the tanks are south down this uh, road. Oh, are about to see two T-72s yeah, as they're well. They've been holding there. You can hear over comms. They know that the Russian T-72s are down this road. But with the elevation, the T-72s are actually going to have the first shot if they're patient. Well, hold on a second. So we're actually on a hill between the Russian T-72s sitting of your screen right here. Um, T-72s are actually not going to have Viz on the Abrams, but this squad right here might accidentally... This is kind of a... This is a good position for to push weather station. We can see that uh, five wing is just about to be capped and infantry dismounting, pushing in the, in the weather station might actually spot the T-72. So T-72s have been marked with the mark down here. So Abrams, unless something crazy happens, they know T-72s are really close. Yeah, tanks marked accurate. Uh, southeast of weather station. Eyes on. And as we lose a little bit of frames here, because Goose Bay is Goose Bay. What I don't like, however, I is we have tanks splitting up. I don't know if y'all can see that on the map that well, but the squad two Abrams has just pushed north and around on the road. And I think that actually might be... A huge misplay here in a second. We can see we're on squad twos. Right now? Well, no, they're both uh, yeah, within yeah, a few hundred meters of each other. Okay. But that might be life or death if they just slam into the T-72s out front. We hear the other Abrams engine off to our left, but he's not going to be in any position to help respond. And Abrams is going to go around the switchback in the T-72s, which have been holding. We're going to be just down the road to our left. They're actually up on the hill. You can see him right here. I mean, it's hard to see them, but they are just hitching a tent. Breaking out the s'mores. Uh, do you want full ammo or do you want More than ammo? happy to uh, camp. As everything loads in, you can see actually how difficult it is to see them. Ammo box. So it's 600 build. Yeah, just normal. I can go there, bro. Laying in wait. Our out. Abrams are right through the forest yeah, just here. Try to stay west side of map so nobody sees you. Now. You can, there you go. Squad 8 has now marked the Abrams. And this is actually really good for Russia. They could push up this road and get around them with infantry support. So now they're not going in all by themselves. Kind of a game of cat and mouse right now. T-72s, uh, I, tanks in general in squad. Tanks, I would argue, are only going to be as good as your infantry support. It is incredibly important if you're on Russian comms. We can't hear Russian comms right now. I am going to be talking to my squad leaders, trying to figure out, all right, where exactly are they? Do you have infantry contact and in weather? How Target is there any ATGMs? You got any Matt Vs? Are they caught? You want to figure out the situation ahead of you before you go around and try to do this flank a Rooney here. I would absolutely love, now we see this helicopter, Russian helicopter going to be right above us. I would absolutely love if this helicopter could get confirmation on what's above us. Since these Abrams are kind of doing exactly what the T-72s are doing. But you can hear comms are very quiet right now on the U.S. side. As both sides do not want to lose their tanks. And now you have something I don't... No, guys. No, 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 no. You got one random lone T-72 out way out east. And what's going to happen is... Thank you, He's either going to get killed... By himself, or something's going to happen where you're going to want another third tank. Just in case, to get some firepower out. 
no longer going to be in position for it. And it's kind of infantry doing all the combat right now. Vehicles are just being stationary. We're going to take a look at... Uh, I hear a few... Oh, yep, there it is. The Bradley has actually flanked around and stumbled upon the infantry right up along the hillside. OG Korean and Nick Laos. This is a huge help for the uh, Abrams as well. They can clear out the infantry. They're removing the, the infantry eyes on that keeps spotting the Abrams. Trying to see if there's any AT nearby. No, there's actually no anti-tank right now for this Russian squad. So this Bradley, if they want to, can do whatever the hell they want to. And Bradley's just going to have free reign dumping HE rounds on the cliff here. Going to push up. And infantry can do nothing other than just lay face first in the snow. And part in the map here. I just want to make sure our tanks are kind of stationary. Oh, mid arm. Oh, no. There was one AT. Chauncey Butler. And he just gets face first into the Bradley. And min arms his, and now this is what we're talking about here. You got Chewy, Doc Rowe. And they're deciding to make a move. Bradley's pushing up with infantry support. Squad 7 infantry leader has spotted the Bradley D-72s. You can see infantry right underneath the pipe here. Bradley now stuck. T-72s are now moving to engage. What might happen though is as the T-72s move, they might just draw out themselves for the Abrams. Almost like a bait here. Yep, and the... Have a tree that was apparently firing an AK-74. I mean, that's just how it goes, you know. D dangerous, uh, dangerous trees out here in the Canadian woods. T-72s at our front left. I want to see if they're moving to engage it just yet. They're kind of repositioning. Chew it. Might be able to go up here. They actually need to be very careful. As you can see, Wicks and Polars here, they have AT. Yeah. And now you just have a standoff. Two on two. And we'll see what happens here. Tanks moving out. Infantry's gotta let the Abrams know. One of the slowest tank fights I think I've ever seen. Polar's running up with his AT-4. Tracks the T-72. That is huge for U.S. armor. Fantastic play by the American Lat. And T-72 is now going to be a sitting duck. As you can see, the Abrams kick on their engines. And an ATGM from the Bradley also goes into the front plate of the T-72. Both T-72s are firing. They're not going to even be able to notice that <laughs> Abrams are flanking him. ATGM finishes off one tank. Abrams need a swing to the left. There you go. T-72 running the other side. They're going to crest. They get over and this pipe might be right in the way and it does first round for the Abrams smacks him to the front of the pipe T-72 doesn't know where they're going Don't even know where that came from ATGM flies into the side of the Abrams now that was tracked on the side as well double tracked for the T-72 
Oh, it's a third T-72! Third T-72 from the left side! And what is even happening right now? How is... Is this actually... T-72 flanks kills one Abrams. Second T-72, or I guess original T-72 goes down. Oh my God, right through the ammo rack. Unbelievable. Third T-72 comes out of the woodwork, flanks the Abrams. And what a play. That's why you want your tanks together. T-72 comes out of nowhere. And it is a tank graveyard in the middle of Goose Bay. What a play. Two T-72s down, two Abrams down. Americans left with one Bradley. Russians left with one more T-72. And that is a full wipe for the armor right outside weather station. And let's see what the damage is. 303 tickets to 310. This is uh, losing, what, 50 or so tickets. And who is it? Soldier 1405 and Lex Helvitis. Able with a huge save, actually. That was incredible. And in the meantime, our last T-72 that had taken the eastern flank all the way around is actually now set up position right next to the objective. What a play. And here we go. Last T-72. I think this might be the only tank on the field. T-72s, we can see all the crews. You can see all the crewmen back at Maine thinking, yeah, that kind of sucked, guys. Uh, they thought they had it in the bag. What just happened here? ATGM just blew something up. Not quite sure what, though. There is an American tow placed down on the objective near weather station somewhere. Oh, there it is. The top of your screen. I am flying the same one. Right on. <laughs> All right. There was a tow on the objective. Takes a heat round to the chest. There goes the player. There goes the ATGM. And this T-72 now can do whatever he wants to. Northeast of weather. Just laying rounds. It, that's just, just rude. A whole bunch of frag rounds now. Gonna slap the objective. Yeah, it's marked on the map. They're, uh, on the hill. Northeast of weather station. Hey, squad 11. And you can see... You guys can try to get a hab up north of the point. We might... We have a bunch of AT just checking the map here. I want to see if any type of anti-tank is going to try to push this position. And in the meantime... Now that... that right, Hit a little short. Okay, so map time out real quick. I know people are going to say, Moy, you're looking at the map. I want to watch the engagement. It's okay. This is important. Squad 4 out into the west has actually moved around west of the objective and is setting up an attack fob west. That means you have an attack fob east, you have an attack fob west. Russia is actually encircling weather station. And... Coming to 11. They are... It doesn't matter. Never mind. Map timeout is back on timeout again because five wing the whole time Russia is, has been pulling off some awesome armor plays. But they've actually lost their five wing objective. Harambe. Rest in peace. Harambe pushing on to the north side of five wing. And I think he's... Oh, one or two infantry left for the U.S. and they can actually neutralize five wing. They might do it just in time before Russian reinforcements. And they have. Hey, Heli, 
Can you meet me at my rally? Infantry for the U.S. are picking up the slack from the vehicles, and we hear a yeah, couple uh, a couple tank rounds fighting. And hold on a second. Could you put a pickup somewhere near five wing? Yeah, Gotta find this T-72. See right here. Actually ambushed the two Abrams out on the road. Yeah, give me one second, Heli. Yeah, no worries. I'm and he looks like he will go down. Yeah, oh, right ammo here. racked he is. Right Should be open enough for you to land. There he goes. T-72 not able to do much of anything when taking on two Abrams as well as a couple anti-tanks and there he goes pops so we are about all square again for the vehicles between both teams here hey 10 can you bring build to B7 one tank's dead by the way you have a couple, eh, let's see here. No, just a combat engineer for Russia. So Russia needs to realize that this is as fun of the, up, the uh, attack up, is. Uh, um, building. Me up, they need to get back down and more. defend five wing or they're going to be rolled here. Because after five wing, they don't have a single fob built. It is holding the neutral. I believe this is a Russian hab out east of the objective. You have a, uh, a, an American hab out west. Just cross the bridge and a bunch of infantry down on five wing. You have a bunch of respawns actually. Looks like Russia. Yep, all the red. Russia with a hard respawn fallback position, making sure they do not lose five. I can, uh, repeat where you want me to land, sorry. Who wants to pick up? I can't actually see you haven't got any pickup markers here, boys. Uh so we don't need a pickup. I need you to drop some pause. West and Broadway. right about here sure. you just on command chat, yep, right here, you see uh, Smitty Duh and Wait, Poop. No, we didn't lose a half. We, we've been fighting off this rally the whole time. <laughs> and why do you name yourself Poop? All right, Smitty Duh and Poop are trying to hold this position so a helicopter can come in and they can drop a radio. Uh, get up a, a closer attack fob. Uh, so Smitty and Poop just have to hold strong, get that helicopter nearby, and they can siege Five Wing as Russia tries to recap it. Now 25% recap right now. I can't even... Let's see that helicopter. Helicopter has a uh, a ways to go. Needs to be very careful as he pushes in. This infantry and vehicles. Hold on a second. Actually, helicopter is not landing just yet. He's actually doing a resupply way at a weather station. So the attack fob is going to have to wait. You can see right down here. Sorry to take a little bit of machine gun fire, but not too bad. And there, honestly, I think Russia has done well. But you have now one uh, chef, your boys, able to get right into the uh, the cap capture radius, and with that, they're able to pretty much prevent Russia from capping, give themselves a little bit more time so the U.S. can get a proper attack fab up, a fob up. Turn on the outline so you can see. Yeah, they're by the radio and weather also. North side, north side. JF flanking around, trying to knock out the Americans. We're starting to push the objective here. It's Sneaky Watson, or the Sneaky Watson as well. Ukrainian Patsyuk up at the top. Gonna be probably just holding the stairs here. That was him. He's got no... Oh, Marksman as well. See how he does in close quarters. Tank, tank, tank. Mark is accurate. You gotta watch their spacing. 
don't know what I expected. Uh, full auto wins uh, in that close quarters. Might have actually done better if he had his pistol out. <laughs> it's absolutely blasted full auto with the AK. And here we go. Kim. This is a risky play. Rolling in the Lodgy. Nearby drops the radio and... We'll have to see... Needs to drop the supplies quick because Paintbrush, Keffers, and JF now see the Lodgy. They're going to know something's up. Infantry need to circle the wagons here. Defend it. And then JF might... If he gets a lucky flank, he might actually knock out the SL. Going to completely... Pro oh, and they're trying to get a hab down. The issue is right now there's no flat ground. So the SL is running around trying to find a flat spot to put the hab. Unable to. Smitty... Swaps back to his rifle, knocks out JF. Kafers next to him goes down as well. And now you have slow Ed. The last Russian who can kind of prevent this push. Trying to a little peek around, around the rocks here. Oh, full auto. One American down. Smitty goes full auto as well, and he's. Oh man, this is this is the play right here. Oh, grenade! And this might oh it goes a little too far. Tumbles down the cliffside. Smitty all by himself, kind of last man Alamo right now. Throw a grenade if you have one. There's nobody else with him. Smitty changing positions. This is very smart. You can see one, two, three, four, five Russian outlines. Pushing the position. And Smitty might see the RPG pushing right to left. One more. Good shots. Another one down. Might be able to do it. Catches him close. There's just two more left. Well, now three. One being picked up right now. As he's crawling face first in the dirt. You got mortars. I believe this is Russian mortars. But the Russian mortars might actually... Yeah. It, oh my god. It did. Russian mortars took out two of their own. So now Smitty is about to pull it off. Unless he's got one crawly boy to the left side. I don't know. Oh, he dodges it. I know. The, it's crazy. Your bow is about as beautiful as this push. I cannot believe he's holding on to the entire position. You're, it's, it's a beautiful bow. I love it, darling. Yep, yeah, looks beautiful. I, yep, yeah, thank you. Smitty locking it down still. And creeping up the rocks. He might just be able to get it. Smitty is on a hell of a run. Everyone's going to be super low if he was able to get a grenade. Up to your front right. Oh, who sees it first? Oh, my God. Russia gets the jump. Smitty with the quicker reflexes. Grenades landing all around him. Smitty goes for the bandage. Yeah. We need, if we could, I don't know... We needed to try to get another hab up for five wing here. Smitty, front right, front left, front front. Takes out another to his left. He's going to see him at the front right. Might be it. Holy ducks. Oh, what a run. Unbelievable. Smitty, against all odds, takes out I don't even know how many. And ne oh, wait a second. Hold on. He I gave his team money. enough time. He's got a flanky weather. boy coming up the backside. Okay. Yeah, I'll help you guys up. I'll help you guys out. And they are defending the radio with everything they got. Marksman swaps to his pistol. Is he? Can he pull it off? He can do it. 
I believe in the marksman. Being very patient. One might say too patient. One might say, get off your ass and go kill him. But no, patience. There's an MBT southeast of five. Name ways. of the game. Um, I'm not sure where. I just heard him shoot off. Might. Oh, oh no. Southeast. Gets one. Gets two. Gets three. One left. Nearly wipes them. You might think, wow, see, marksmen are useful. No, fake news. If he was a rifleman, he would have had a grenade and would have taken them all out from cover. Marksman propaganda. Good effort, though. As we now have... The radio... It's all for the radio. You can see the infantry squad has now been able to completely respawn, reset. You guys losing the radio on weather? As Among Us goes down, Blackhawk trying to provide air some reset. air support here. As they're trying to flank, if they can get this up, this would be a fantastic play. And I just want to see in the meantime. I haven't seen their hab yet. Yeah, a couple tanks still fighting. Nothing much going on just yet. And this is... Uh, we started this round. I was excited to see some fantastic, fantastic armor fights. Usually armor heavy maps, you are very unlikely to see good infantry plays. And this infantry push has been one of the most entertaining I think I've seen in recent memory. Thank you. 199 tickets to 208. Just about all square. Captain Handsweat with the machine gun. It was to lock down the southwest flank. Hey, squad A. Just be careful with Artie. Oh, what a play! Oh, yeah. They do not push where the radio is. They actually get a hab down on the south side of the road. The main downside is the radio is going to be really easy to push. You can change that if you get a, a team spawn. And now, what was originally just a rally push is now about to be a full team push. And you can see there is not many people left on five wing. A lot of the Russian team is actually pushed back up on the objective. You can see two different artillery strikes. A Russian artillery strike with a, an American artillery strikes. But the game is actually all on this squad and this had. If they are able to keep this up, they actually might just roll Russia because there is no reset, no quick respawn. And they are slowly but surely just crawling back in. Really sick, really sicko. Pushing right back up. The only one left now is Max EMP. And what a huge, huge hold for US. I thought they were done so. Really sicko pushing with the pistol. And takes them out. Unbelievable. Secures the Lodgy position. And what was lost just a few minutes ago, thanks to a good last stand by Smitty, US is able to hold on to the radio. Hold on to their rally spawn, and now they're actually making their way around five wing for the first time in the game. 190 tickets for the U.S., 187 for Russia. U.S. has made a comeback, and it is all on the shoulders of their infantry squads. Yeah, you guys got infantry pushing from your side. Clock gets clocked from looks like Faust way out in the distance here, but that does not matter too much. Because look at the amount of blue that's about to pour onto the objective here. The big thing is you need to keep the defense, and it looks like they are good defense out on a weather station. I'm not seeing it tick down at all, so... Whoa, hold on. What is happening? Oh, 
I, I thought this was uh, the, the red triangle. I thought it was enemy infantry for a second here, but no, they are okay. This is also why you always want to destroy lodges. There could very well have been a bunch of uh, ammo and supplies in this lodge. And now that they didn't destroy it, the Russians have basically left this fob with all the supplies and ammo that they came with. Weather is getting fucked. Infantry yeah. pushing up into the houses. You can we see get, like, there is, what is this? A T-72. Oh, T-72? We have any AT down here? Armor don't I'm seeing it, one ant light anti-tank and that is it down. And so you're going to need heavy anti-tank to redeploy. T-72 pushing right through. And trying to look to see if any of the anti-tanks spawning in. American infantry just laying prone right in the middle of snow. I don't know why he thought he wasn't going to be seen. AT goes into the top. That's the only... Oh, hat right behind him. Combat engineer goes to push as well. He's going in. Hat mid arms, unfortunately, waste the shot. I do not know what the... It was, he placed a C4, he placed a mine. Oh, he placed a C4, but you can see it's right on the edge. Unfortunately. Another AT. Smacks the backside of the T-72. Unfortunately, no component damage. Engine and track still both up. T-72 looks like he will get away. And incredibly enough. Yes, it, Americans have done it. Smitty clawing on just by the tip of his fingers is now able to rally the uh, the American attack here and five wing nearly neutralized. We can see only Dr. Sheep and Jaeger Hunter able to uh, push back in and stop the cap. Is that tank dead at five wing? But Russia, they, on, they need a hard swap back here. No, they don't. Never mind. Hold on. Russia f weather station has been wiped. Tank's moving west. They need to be a lot louder on comms. I don't know if you guys have been hearing it. To me, I've heard Weather Station has, has, has had some troubles, had some blah, blah, blah. But no, nothing over comms made me think that Weather Station was halfway to cap. This is, oh, Russia. What a huge play by Russia. US. I don't think they're not going to be able to cap that in time. No. So you got a lot of BMP, infantry Bobby. down, but weather station will go down. U.S. for such good infantry plays, they're just not going to be able to do it. I think a, a little too late as the BMP now goes to just shore up the defense. And you can see just how close infantry was so close to pushing on the five wing probably about three minutes too late 122 tickets to 215 just because us is now in the bleed does not mean that they are over they have us has plenty of of players back up on weather station they seem to get back on the objective and bmp now that it's secured, five wind is secured, they're going to push right back up. And... Marks up B, uh, B11 accurate. Hold on, where is this? Oh, here it is. Where's the T-72? Where are you? You're so hard to see. Pardon the camera movements, heard something explode. Yep. T-72 actually got mined. This is one of the first mines that was actually uh, placed in the start of the game. So... 
this is actually huge for uh for the us this t72 i think you only hit one mine maybe two is going to be anywhere from 75 percent to uh 50 at that health you cannot push in to an active objective hey, one MBT dead at five wing. so us might have a little bit of breathing room especially if they did just kill another t72 up there as well Yep, 111 tickets. Yeah, hey, if you're at 5 wing, just fall back. Squad 11, just tell your guys to fall back. 172 for Russia, and this these two Abrams. Are in a fantastic position. They're just overwatching. I don't know if they... There is a BMP on the objective. We'll turn this off so we get the same view the Abrams do. But right through the other armor. side here, kind of on the other side of these domes, you actually have the BMP roaming around. And these tanks are still marked for Russia. They should know that they're there. And if I'm the BMP and I know there's two Abrams, I don't know why you would want to push this. I mean, 107 tickets to 168, that's still really close. I think Russia needs to be careful. As if we look up above here. Squad five, can you tell your combat NG to come repair this logia? We have the BMP. We're gonna take a peek here. Uh, hey, if you want to back up a little bit, we can always build a hab. BMP's just on the other side. Or even five. I can drop where your things are. They're, they're both vehicles are just trying to hold the ground so that infantry for the U.S. can push up and hold on a second. BMP might get a shot on this Abrams. You can't see him right through the trees, though. You have the BMP just laying in wait. He's pretty much right uh, through there. Fantastic camo. All right, guys. Well, I'm staying here for a little while. I'll repair myself. And then I'll wait for you guys if you want to go to have. And once again, just a real big standoff. We need more guys on, um, on co op. They're pushing hard. And you can see they've yeah, actually marked a, a another down. tank down south. So Abrams now might actually yeah, move out to try to take out the T 72 on the repair the station. Here. Because of this, We're you can see the BMP down. is now going to get some space to go up around the back That's flank. Fine. And this T-72 mark might just draw them out. The T-72, there's a repair station right in the road with the elevation. Never mind. You're not seeing them just yet. There you go. BMP. Smacks the side of the Abrams, tracks him. And they are scanning. They have no idea where it came from. Right through the trees, actually. What a peak. Oh, Abrams tries to get eyes on as well. Their round hits the trees. BMP has another shot at it. This very brave BMP, actually. Oh, what a shot! Incredible BMP has four ATGMs, three were fired, and two hit Abrams down. And the T 72 is burning right next to the repair station. Abrams able to take him out, even though he loses his, uh, his buddy right behind him to the BMP. You're getting double reps now. Oh, deflection. Very lucky deflection. T-72. I mean, this is huge for US. They can win this on tickets. But the, did the gunner get out? Oh, they both got out. No, there's no one firing. The, the T-72 has a chance here. If they just fire. Oh, no. 
They dismount. American infantry kills the reps and the crew dead outside of the burning tank. And that will go down crewless. Oh my goodness. Misplay by the Russians. Fortune for the U.S. in 69. Nice. Tickets for the U.S. 148 for the Russians. About to be 130-ish. And now, if they get infantry support, they'll be able to take out Weathered and misses a point blank shot. Uh, they'll take back Weathered and get a, a few more tickets here. 132 tickets down to 69. Let's see here. And unfortunately for the U.S., that's why they lost their tickets. Russian infantry finally pushed out and have taken out the HAB down low. So minus 20 tickets. Well, BMP. Way out on the hill does knock out the tracks. I don't think the BMP has any more shots, though. Abrams. Well, he has a couple buddies. Well, he has another one. He must have repaired and rearmed somewhere. There's looking out in the snow like, dude, I have no idea where this is. Please, guys, give me some help. Hey, hey, I need to scream. We're going to make the toast. I have no idea. <laughs> Freaking tower. I had a shot. You, you have on the right side, Abrams is saying, I need you to smoke screen me. I have no idea. I, I need some help. Abrams to our left uh, is saying, hey, dude. Left to right. Come on, move on. What's up, man? Uh, you're kind of in a crappy position there, huh? And a uh, second one right. comes in. I think that was AT from... Oh, you see the hat. Command quick on the spot, and there you go. That's why you always need a commander. Abrams. Oh, they're oh, they're capping. Are, are they actually capping it back? No. Oh, they're capping back. Wow, Russia had actually pushed up and started to cap Packet Co-op. Doc Road dismounted to repair the tracks. He unfortunately goes down. 59 tickets to 112. And this is just incredible. You're actually going to have... ATGM from Robar. And he has a perfect shot. This is actually incredible. I thought it was the ATGM. Firing uh, from the BMP. And you can see right. Oh! <laughs> the Abram says, No more ammo for you. Even though he's tracked and down a crewman, takes out the helicopter resupplying this little ATG in position. Great shot. And now the tanks are on it. Oh, hold on a second. Rocket Barrage coming in on the Abrams. I'm trying to support you guys at Weathered. They are being surrounded by smoke. Sue Strike. Trying to finish off. And it might even get a twofer. Hey guys, Helly's, Helly's coming up now. Be ready on Mark. T-72 smashes into the front plate of the Abrams. They can do nothing. Oh my goodness. Oh, shit. They got us. They got two. It hit so... I lost like all my frames. Squad just killed my computer. Enemy commander knocking out two Abrams. We just lost. Yeah, they just lost 30 tickets to one air, one airstrike, and there goes my friend. I don't know. I don't think it's recovering, guys. My computer's dying. I, it's it's gone. It's dead. They they did 
In enemy. Oh my God. And then I wish we could see it squad. But then the, the last Abrams hit a mine. Sad. We, more than, or like, there we go. Jesus. We there. Holy Still moly. Nice. Yeah. So Abrams, the last Abrams hits a mine in the yeah, final ATGM yeah. smacks through the backside. And this is the game. Three Abrams go down in quick succession. Two tickets to 83. And that is going to be it. Russia with a fantastic clutch victory. Just doing much better on the armor side. 82 tickets to zero. G G's. GG's. Hey, to think about it, if they didn't count weather, you know, they only won by 22 tickets. So... That is true. If they did not win the game, then they uh, they would have lost the game. I mean, you always got to look at the upside. 207 kills to 212 kills, 269 revives or uh, deaths to 278. So very even on the infantry and uh, the deaths kill side was just the vehicles. The vehicles really pulled it out. Huge plays by American infantry early. Unfortunately, just could not pull it out. Oh my goodness.